Hey guys, this is Golden Reviewer, and uh, this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Today we are going to test the game performance under 5G connection. This is actually a request from my subscribers. Many of you said that that uh, Wi-Fi and the airplane mode does not really correspond to how you actually use the device every day. So here is the 5G test you've been asking for. And before the test starts, let's check the device temperature. Actually, we are in a room temperature of 25 degrees. And within minutes of starting the game, the device already reached uh, 38, 39 degrees. Well, so it doesn't look great from the start. But anyway, our format of testing will roughly remain the same. I'll be playing the game with highest graphic settings, just as you can see here. And I'll show you the real-time FPS uh, at the bottom of the video. However, the power is something we cannot test in this case because it requires Wi-Fi connection. Uh, since we are using 5G, not Wi-Fi, we cannot test power and we have to connect the device to my PC with a cable. This is a restriction of the test software I use, which is PerfDoc. And uh, so far, I haven't found any workaround uh, for this. So we have to use a cable and, and that's something to keep in mind. And uh, to be honest, it's not looking good for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It doesn't seem to be able to maintain 60 FPS even for 30 seconds. Like right into the game, it starts to throttle. And uh, the FPS will drop to something like 40, 50. And I do feel that the game is lagging. But anyway, I'll stop talking and uh, let you enjoy the game footage for a while. Three minutes into the game, I decided to check the connectivity and I found that the device actually automatically dropped to 4G for me. I have no idea why this is the case. My reception is super strong, as you could see just now, it was uh, full bars. So the device will just, maybe it's overheating, so it just drops from 5G to 4G, I don't know. Go 
Alright, so we've done the test for like 5-6 minutes and I think we can stop here. It, it doesn't make sense to go any longer. It, the FPS will just uh, keep going down until it's 30-40 around there. And uh, let me check the temperature of the device. Okay, so the highest temperature I can find on this device is 45 degrees, which I think is still okay, it's not super hot. And then as for the FPS result, we see that uh, the average FPS is 44 and uh, I think it's still going down. So if I play for a bit longer, this number will even go lower. And you can see that towards the end, uh, it remained as 34 or something. Okay, so it seems that this iPhone really doesn't perform well uh, under 5G or 4G connectivity. It performs so much worse than it did on Wi-Fi. So yeah, so if you are going to buy this device and uh, you are going to use data connectivity quite often, I think this is something you need to keep in mind. Uh, the device will heat up faster and uh, it will have much lower performance when you are not using Wi-Fi. Okay, so if you find my video helpful, please give me a like and remember to subscribe to my channel and also share this to your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.